Okay, gang, if you watched yesterday, Turbo Tuesday, you already know I begged for Michael to come back. And what the cool thing about Michael, you guys, is that he's our third highest, he's in third place for contributors to this giant 55 plus community, which means, Michael, with nearly 1,700 people, you, according to Facebook's database stuff, have done so many posts, comments, engaging in our family that you have put yourself up in a leadership position. And you know, because I mentioned it to you on Turbo Tuesday, I really appreciate that there are leaders in there because people are thanking me all the time. Oh, thank you, Pam. And I'm thinking, no, actually, I just come in and do these things Monday through Friday. <laughs> But it's all the people like you, Michael, that are making the difference in our community where people feel like you're cheering them on, you're posting. Michael doesn't even hardly post photos. He puts no. the real the real stuff. I mean, really, yeah. I, when I reread your posts, I'm thinking, wow. See, I was a CB student and liked recess a lot. And <laughs> you go, you go so deep and so wonderful. And if you watched yesterday, you guys, you already know he's been doing DDPY for 15 weeks. So he represents a ton of you people and what that new journey, the freshness of that new journey looks like. So I'm going to share one thing, Michael, and then I'm going to ask you to um, share your journey, where you're at. So first I'll just share, of course, this is Wellness Wednesday and this DDPY 55 plus community, you guys, this was put together. This was the vision of Steve Yu and DDP who are uh, partners in this journey together. And they saw a need for those of us in this age group that we would bond with one another, understand one another and be helpful to each other. So this was their vision. And it's really has come to pass because we are growing like crazy, Michael. Now, Michael... That's this time, I'm not going to scrub Michael's last name. Michael, can you share your last name so I don't say it? Maybe. I, I hope so. Uh, Canistraro. I've had it for 62 years. I know it by now. Canistraro. Now, is that, a certain, is that a certain nationality that I can't get that right? Well, I don't know how sharp you are on Sicilian, but that's based it's Italian. It's Sicilian. Oh, Italian. Well, yeah. Whoa, I have an Italian here on Wellness Wednesday. <laughs> this is this is a big deal. This is a, a big deal, deal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> because the culture, your culture, <laughs> is probably one of our best cultures uh, historically that seem to associate every event is around food. Is that not true? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, so I'm, surprised, so I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm surprised I'm not munching on something right now. <laughs> I love that. So tell us just your personal perspective, your 15 weeks, and tell us um, what this nutrition pillar means to you. How do you approach this? Well, it's very important because I think what a lot of people say, and Dell says it as well, you know, you can't out train a bad diet. And, and he's right. You know, we may lose 200 or 300 calories in a workout, but you can blow all that up by, you know, just keep, you know, opening your mouth and shoving food in. So it is very important. It took me a while because I was one of these things. I was one of these people who thought, oh, I can get around that. I can still eat this. I can still eat that. Well, I was saying that to myself, but the scale wasn't doing anything. I, I didn't see the move. And then slowly, as I, I listened to people on, you know, on, on the page and I said, let me try this and let me try that. And then I realized, you know, I do like vegetables, but I never ate them that much. So it's been a, a slow evolution to getting more to where Dallas and probably most of us need to be in order to become fit, which is basically the proteins and the veggies and the fruits and the complex carbohydrates are fine. It's the simple ones that are going to kill us. So, <laughs> And it seems to me you shared a post where you went to visit a doctor of yours and <laughs> Gave you another, I thought that perspective that he gave as well. And then you came home with these weights. Tell him that story. That's a great post as well. Uh, I, I, if I remember this correctly, um, and this happened to my grandfather a long time ago, but we were talking about weight. We said, you know, uh, 
how, you know, but what does losing weight, how does it really affect your, your body? And, and we were talking about that. And, and after this discussion, I went home and I said, well, I'm 279. Let's say I got to 209. That's 70 pounds. Would that make a difference? I went home, got my uh, dumbbells, which are the adjustable kind. You can flip them to any weight you want. And I, 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 took, I took one that just, forget 70 pounds, I took 50 pounds. So at first, I had my hand down on, my, on the ground, and I put like a five-pound weight there. I said, well, that doesn't hurt too much. Then I put the 50-pound weight on my hand and said, oh, my God, that hurts. Now, can you imagine? Now, that's 50. So let's take 70. Can you imagine your poor joints, your muscles, your bones, your discs, your ligaments, and your tendons carrying all that around? And it's not doing you one bit of good. If it was 70 pounds of muscle, I say, well, that acts as a support structure to all those things. That's great. That's not what fat does. Fat drags everything down and makes it work harder. So that, that's the that that's the key to that story. If you're never sure, the old grandfather story was back in the, oh my God, the 50s. They told him to lose 20 pounds. And of course, everybody thinks, oh, what's 20 pounds? So they asked my grandfather to take, go home, take two 10-pound bag of potatoes and walk around all day with that and see how you feel at the end of the day. And it's true. It's true. It's just like, it's exhausting after a while. So we, we don't know it because we've been holding our weights. And even when we lose them, it's so gradual. We don't notice the effect. But if we can remove 70 pounds like nothing, you sit there and say, go, oh, wow, hey, I feel better. So that was the story. That's another me and my psychologist story. We have great meetings. <laughs> Honestly, that is way too much logic for us. To yeah. We need to really absorb that. Go grab something that weighs extra pounds and try carrying that around for an extra well, that, that feels, you know. Whoa. So you keep that in your mind. Is your That's part of your uh, visual that helps you in your nutrition pillar. Is that right, yeah. Michael? Yeah, that's that's really a lot of it. And I'm going to tell you, the other thing is everybody else on this Facebook page, I know there are people working their hearts out. My feeling is I feel like we're a team and I'm not going to let anybody down. I know they're not looking at me saying, geez, I hope Michael doesn't let me down. But I, I, I feel like, you know, if everybody else is, you know, really trying, I've got to really try too. And I found some uh, some really interesting things along the way. And I don't find eating nutritionally as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do feel fuller. I do feel full and I don't feel myself going after all the sugar. So that's a couple of things that I keep in mind as I move from day to day. Yeah. So because of your background, um, what is it that you're eating now that you can, you can honestly say, well, I like that change. That was really delicious. What would that be? I'd say a lot of fish and, and, and fish seems to be, you know, a lot of protein with very little of any carbs. Um, I'm not a big as meat eater. I don't like the animal fats, but, but it's mostly fish and chicken and things like that, that I try to consume. Um, I said, you know, and I'm not a very good, I know everybody's got recipes to me. A recipe is open, getting, finding the can opener to open the tuna fish and I eat out of the tuna, but I'm fine with that or anchovies. I love it because it's salty uh haddock is another one shrimp scallops i have you know i'm in new england so we all love our seafood up here um so that's really my favorite and you know again nothing inventive i went to a grocery store yeah i just basically cleared out the the canned vegetable section and brought it home with me and i know what someone would say well you should eat but i understand that maybe someday i'll work my way up but something is better than nothing so Yes. So that's that's the big twist now in my the way I eat. That is awesome. Yeah, I really try to get people, I'm encouraging people to even post pictures of either their grocery bag or what they just cooked. And I'm asking the others, please stop leaving a comment that's, gee, you should have had that instead mm -hmm. with that. Because it is like you said, you're 15 weeks in for heaven's sake. Yeah. Any shift you're making is a positive shift and to get so bogged down with every part of it, people won't get started. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I, but I, but I used to try to do that. Let's change everything. Because, again, no patience. Now it's like, let's change this piece by piece. And, you know, God give me the patience not to try to turn it all around in the day. 
that's where I always used to make mistakes. Exactly. My head to deal with. Oh, such wisdom. Oh, my uh, word. Michael, I'm so glad I had you on. I knew you were oh. full of wisdom. I just wasn't sure you would game to come on with this goofball here and do a little <laughs> intro. Well, I, my family would say I'm full of something. Wisdom might not be their first choice on the on the totem pole. Well, but, actually, I, I have liked your sense of humor too. If you <laughs> if you follow you. him, he does always somehow wrap humor into the teaching. <laughs> I have noticed that. Thank you. Yeah. So, any other thoughts you feel on nutrition that you think you might want to share with anyone? Um, you know, it, I guess what it means is like it doesn't mean you can never have sugar, but you know, if you're at a certain weight and you kind of know how much sugar you eat in a day, try to cut it down little by little. You don't have to, you know, evaporate it. Occasionally, I I had I, yesterday I had an an ice cream bar with little vanilla ice cream, you know, it was a chocolate coated and it's probably 130 calories. That wasn't going to murder me. It was, it was the old days where I used to have a dish of ice cream. Like you wouldn't believe. And, and that's the stuff. If you cut it down little by little, it'll eventually come out. You just have to have the patience to realize it's going to be a long time and that's fine. Yeah. Any little bit helps. Yeah. And you have yeah. already seen some hounds go, correct? In the years. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Back even before, DDPY and everything. I had I had my own little nutrition thing in my head, and at one point I was three oh seven. So now I'm down to two seventy six. So that's yeah. about 30 pounds. How much? So that's thirty one. That's incredible. That's a whole child. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. And as I say, try carrying. Go find a thirty pound weight and try carrying that around all day. Well, that's what I just lost. So. Oh gosh. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I hope. The next time I reach out to you to beg that you'll come on and do another one of our days because you are worth people knowing. I'm telling you what, you guys, he's a leader. He's a leader in the pack. He didn't ask for the title, but he did the work. And so he's right up there in our top contributors. So thank you for all you do, Richard. I look forward to continuing to follow you always. Yes, I welcome him anytime. Oh, hey, love you tons. Love you. <laughs> Bye-bye.